Hi, Wood of Money here. Here in this video we will make another epoxy clock. We are making from ocean blue epoxy pigment and oak wood. Process of crafting is quite easy and straightforward and uh, perfect for first epoxy resin project for beginners. In the beginning we did flatten the top and bottom side to get straight piece. This way we minimize epoxy waste. After flattening on planer, we move on to the bandsaw and cut a rough circle. If you don't have bandsaw, you can do this on your jigsaw. After this, I smooth out the rough edge that my bandsaw did, but only because it will fit better in my silicon mold. So. I mean this group of people that uh, thinks that bark and epoxy would not bond correctly. So here I did to remove all bark and soft wood from the piece. If you don't think so and you like the look of the bark, you can leave on but I don't recommend it. When you are choosing the epoxy resin, you must know for what you will use it. Here I am using fast cure epoxy resin and for this resin the deepest pore is 2 cm in place that is 20 degrees Celsius, but that is recommended by manufacturer. And here you see my 15 months old son, he is always with me when I'm making things at my home in my garage and checking the progress. If you like this video so far, please hit a like and subscribe button and help me grow this channel. Because the thickness is 2.7 cm and we have hot summer right now, I did a pour in two stages, just to be safe. And this resin is fully cured in 24 hours. And after this, we will repeat some steps, but this time more precisely. So first again, thickness planer. I'm planing down to 2.4 cm. Next again is Benza, but this time I will use very simple jig for making perfect circles on Benza. Finish diameter is 35 centimeters. And on we go to the belt sander. There we remove rough cutting mark on the edge of the circle. But we must be very careful to not ruin the shape of the circle. If you don't have any of this tool, I know you have a drill, so grab it and make 8mm hole in the center. Before we start marking the position of the mechanism, we must find place where will be 20 o'clock. I located this with the help of gravity, like shown here. Then we simply trace the line around the mechanism and then cut with rotor. I do with freehand, but you can make a template for this.
Next step is sanding. First, I sand with belt sander with 150 granulation on both sides. Between the belt sander and orbital sander, I did round the corners with router so they won't be very sharp. Then I move to my Mirkel sander, my orbital sander. I start with 120 grit and then go to 240. Ideal would be if I would use one more grid between 120 and 240 grid. Maybe 180? But because I didn't use it, I did send with 240 a lot longer to remove scratches from 120 grid. Don't be like me and use 180 grid instead. And now, at least for me, from the most tedious job to the most satisfying job. This is finishing. For this clock, customer did want a shine finish, so we did use water-based lacquer. We did spray with the gun, we did mix additional 20% of water. So here we have 50 grams of lacquer and 10 grams of water and don't forget to mix it well. First layer we always do in light passes. When we spray with the gun we overlap about 50% each pass. Also we spray diagonal and horizontal so we really don't miss any spot. Again, just to be safe. In about 30 minutes the first layer is dry, so we sand it with 320 grit and then remove the dust with micro cloth. Everything else we repeat, the mixture is the same, so lacquer plus 20% of water, but now we will spray a bit thicker layer of lacquer, so this is final layer. If you like this video so far, please hit a like and subscribe button and help me grow this channel. And for the end is assembling. If I would make this clock for me, I would use white hands and white numbers, but customer did want it in black. So you made it to the end. Then I think that you did like this video, but don't forget to subscribe and help me grow this channel. Maybe in the future I will pay some bills with your help. And if you did all these things, thank you. Like you see I'm in the beginning, but beginnings are always hard. Thank you again and uh, be well. Bye.